Okay, in today's lab, we are going to discuss the qualitative analysis of anions, how to identify the presence of anions. Uh, I am going to identify the presence of Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus. These are the halide ions by adding to, uh, to them, to those solutions, silver nitrate. For the Cl minus, a white precipitate will be obtained. For the Br minus, a creamy white precipitate. And for the presence of I minus, we are going to obtain a creamy light yellow color, not a precipitate. And another anion, the sulfide, we are going to add to it a silver nitrate. A black precipitate will be obtained, and this black precipitate will disappear if I add to it a hydrochloric acid. For the presence of other uh, anions, uh, like uh, sulfate, carbonate, acetate, and hydroxide, we will do several different tests. So for the sulfate, uh, we are going to add a solution of barium chloride. A white precipitate will appear. For the carbonate, we are going to add uh, HCl uh, hydrochloric acid solutions. So uh, bubbles of uh, carbon dioxide will form. And to detect the, uh, their presence, we will add to them lime water that will turn milky. Uh, for the acetate, we're going to add concentrated uh, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, with ethanol, and then we are going to heat the test tube, and then a fruity smell, uh, uh, we will have a fruity smell. Uh, for the presence of uh, OH minus, the hydroxide ion, uh, we'll add the litmus paper, uh, red litmus paper that will turn blue. Okay, now I'm going to add silver nitrate solution to the first test tube containing Cl minus. The second test tube containing Br minus, and the third test tube containing I minus. So here in the first one, a white precipitate. Yeah, add some more. A creamy white precipitate with the bromide and with the iodide every time I add silver nitrate a, a, a faint creamy yellow color appears and then disappears if I shake this test tube it will disappear you see it here on top it's not a precipitate just a color that will disappear this one there is a precipitate and this one a white precipitate now with the sulfide a black color is observed a black precipitate and this black precipitate will disappear if I add to it hydrochloric acid so now I am going to add hydrochloric acid takes some time color became less and with time it will disappear I'm gonna add some more so we'll check it after a few minutes to see it Okay, now in the next test tubes that you see over here, we have a solution of sulfate, a solution of carbonate, 
a solution of acetate and a solution of hydroxide ion. To the sulfate, we are going to add barium chloride. A white precipitate is absorbed. To the carbonate, we are going to add HCl, hydrochloric acid. You will see the formation of bubbles. And to this, we are going to add lime water that it will turn milky. When lime water turn milk, turns milky, it indicates the presence of carbon dioxide. Now, to the acetate ion, we are going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Then, <coughs> a little bit of ethanol. And add and put the test tube in hot water over here so, okay, so we can uh, smell the uh, fruity smell now back again to the last test tube that contain hydrochloric uh, sorry that contain hydroxide ion we are going to add to it to drop in it hydro uh, red litmus paper red litmus paper it should turn blue okay thank you so now after several minutes of uh, heating uh, the test tube uh, we are smelling uh, a, a fruity smell coming out from the test tube over here indicating the presence of acetate ion so before we finish this experiment as you can see here, uh, again, the white precipitate uh, uh, indicating the presence of a chloride ion. Uh, those precipitate, uh, this precipitate um, takes a little bit time to, uh, to appear here. Uh, for the other test tube, um, it's a creamy white precipitate deposited uh, at the bottom of this test tube indicating the presence of a bromide ion. And here, this was a black precipitate, but as I mentioned, it takes some time, uh, and this black precipitate will disappear if I add to it HCl. So as you can see here, it started to uh, disappear. But of course, it takes uh, some time. 